Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here in this episode 104 of the Random Hybrid. First things first, if you are looking for cheap Ultimate Team Coins, go check out the footshop.com. Links for that will be in the description, as well as a discount code you can check out and get some discountage off your coinage. So that is absolutely amazing, but yeah, go check them out. And also, if we can nail the like button on this video, try and get a thousand likes as quick as possible, that would be absolutely amazing. I know you guys can do it, you are the best subscribers in the world, and you are fantastic. Now... Next thing, obviously subscribe if you're new as well. I never really say that at the beginning of the videos. I really should start saying that. But yes, we're going to be using the new Diego Costa. When I say new, if you haven't heard already, he has been traded, not traded, changed to Spanish. So if you had him in a Brazilian team, you're pretty much screwed. But you got to have a nice little Spanish one there. The other update they've done is El Show Wobba Dabba Ding Dong, our main man, is actually four-star skills now, which is, which is good, really, because he's a little bit annoying being three-star, because I always like my wingers have four-star. Cut in and get that freaking finesse OP on the go. But yeah, we're going to be using Diego Costa's 85 informed version. Obviously, like I said, he's Spanish now. So we'll be using him as well as a couple of other players we chose to use around him. I'll do about 23-something K. We'll do 8-5, and because I think he's an 85 rated player. Hopefully the market isn't AIDS for us today and we can get a player. But no one EA, they'll find a way to piss us off, I'd imagine. Here we go. They're struggling to load page 2. There we go, page 3. Come on. We can do this. 8 and 5. 8 and 5. Come on, EA. Fuck. Let's not tempt it. Let's not tempt it to leave. But yes. Freaking Diego Costa is Spanish now. That, well, he, he played for Spain, so technically they had to do it, really. But I'd imagine a lot of you are probably frustrated that the fact he was really good in like a Brazilian... Oh my god, they kicked me off. Why are they doing this all of a sudden? So frustrating, it really is. There's nothing worse. And now apparently there's nothing on the market above 22k. What irritates me? Yes, they brought out nice packs. They brought out the free packs. Fucking lovely. Untradeable items. A couple of 15k packs to 5k. But they still haven't sorted their market. You'd think, you would really think that it would be number one priority, wouldn't you? You'd think, right, people make teams every day. People buy new players. People put players on the market to sell. You can't fucking do that shit, because EA are bloody dickheads. Fuck you, EA. I know you're not going to watch my video, but fuck you. Leave in the comments your 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 worst situation of, you know, what... Uh, do you guys go through this? What is your, like, most annoying thing about FIFA? Tramp goals, sweaty goals, crosses, lagging out, etc. This is my worst thing, because this series revolves around it, and the fact that the freaking market doesn't load out for time is age. Oh my god, it's on a roll. I need to calm down. Here we go. Eight and five. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. It is Matweedy, who of course is a biatch. He's, he's a very good player. I should have called him a biatch. I do apologise for Matweedy. He is actually very good, and I already have him in the club, so that is I freaking deal. So we've got Matweedy, we've got Diego Costa. I always want to say Diego Alves for him for some reason. That's the goalkeeper. We've got the striker, the Atletico Madrid player. But Matweedy is our second player, so that's pretty cool. 45k, come on. Load. But Tweedy gives us a possibility to use the main man. The main man, Ibrahimovic. But then again, possibly not. But okay, 8 and 5. Fuck. Kicked us right off after the first page. Gave us no time to breathe. Ah, oh, breathe. Take it in. Kick me out. That's cool. That's cool. That's fine, EA. That is absolutely fine. 48k. Here we go. 8 and 5. I shouldn't have picked a high rated one, should I? I should have gone for like page 1, player 2. But no, I decided to go with 8 and 5, which is turning out to be a stupid idea. Motherfuckers. Come on. 52, 500. That's the one. This is the one. Here we go. Let's get overconfident about it. We're going to do this shit. Also, guys, I'm thinking about bringing the Road to Glory theme series to my channel. I know the pace of using a Bang Yang one is current currently still going on, but that account has been wiped for some unknown reason. It's kept my record, but it's got rid of every single player. My story may not be in there. I haven't actually looked. I don't know if I've been hacked, actually. That would probably be the more... Um, thing because my players are gone but my record stayed the same i've probably been hacked on that account actually thinking about it now i thought i'd been reset but i probably haven't have I? i've probably been hacked which is annoying as shit but we can start a new account i'm sure and um i'm thinking about doing about around a more expensive player someone like romario uh, not necessarily romario that's just an example because i've already got him um at the moment because i'm making a team which involves him and he's a very good player he's a very good legend card of course he's one of the higher rated ones at 90 as well he's brazilian he's five star skills 
you know, it'll be a bit of fun. I'm quite a good skiller these days, actually. I can skill a lot better than I used to be able to. And um, if you want to see that, let me know in the comments below or any other player you'd like me to do it around. Would you like me to do a mile story, Road to Glory? Oh my lord, that just flows perfectly. But yeah, if he's high rated, I probably would. But here we go, 8 and 5. Can we make it? No, we can't because there's only three pages. Motherfucker! Right. We'll try a couple more times. If it doesn't work, we'll just do literally the first part of the first page. But we'll give it another go. Page one, you can load. Page two, you can load. Page three, four, come on. Come on, five, you can do it. Yes. Don't do it, EA. Six, come on. Seven. Here we are, eight. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. It is Aguero, of all people. So... Oh, okay, Aguero, Matweedy, and I've forgotten the other one. Aguero, Matweedy, and... Oh, dude, Costa, of course, what an idiot. They're the three players you have to use at random. Hopefully, you have enjoyed up to now. What would you pick a hybrid around them? Go check out Foot and Footwears and make your own variation. Leave it in the comments below. Like if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. I'll see you in two when I've made my hybrid. So I'll see you then. Okay, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, we are rocking the good old 41212 formation, the one with the left and the right mid, not the center mids. We've got Matweedy in the CDM position as a center mid, but he'll still get full chemistry because I got him in another team and didn't feel as if I needed to convert him. So that is fine, first owner, like I already said. Then we've got Aguero, cost me 159k, still very expensive, but then again, he's an 88 rated, and he's got a couple of informs on top of that as well. Very good player, I've used him a few times in the random hybrid, and he's always picked us up a goal or two, so he's a very good player to have. And then the one I chose myself was Diego Costa's new Spanish card. Exactly the same card, pretty much, just Spanish and not Brazilian. So that's pretty much the only difference, but um, I never liked him before, not gonna lie to you. Um, and I doubt I'll like him now, but I just want to try him because obviously Spanish, he gets different links, so that's cool. I uh, will start with the goalkeeper, and he's gonna be a Brazilian goalkeeper, and he's just there because I wanted to use a new transfer player. So I'm gonna use transfer to Leo Cesar to the MLS team Toronto. They've actually picked up a couple of good players. They've got Julio Cesar and Defoe, to name a few. Um, very good goalkeeper actually. He was linked with Leeds and it never obviously happened because Leeds are in turmoil and just all going down the shitter right now which is very depressing. But the centre-backs we're going to go for is going to be the double team of Thiago Silva and Marquinhos. Packed both of these beauties. Obviously packed that blue Thiago Silva and a packed Marquinhos. I actually packed all three of them PSG players so if you yeah, want to give me an Ebro anytime soon that would be pretty sweet. But um, the left-back we're going to go for is a Spanish left-back and it is going to be... Um, what's he called? There he is, Jordi Alba. He's going to get a very nice link with a left mid, which is going to be David Villa, who gets a perfect link now, obviously, with Diego Costa. So that is going to kill off the BBVA right there. Nice little link down the left-hand side there, which hopefully is going to do us some damage. David Villa in this game, by the way, is absolutely excellent. He's got the four-star skills, four-star weak foot. The only thing letting him down this year is his pace, but then again... You know, he's got the skills and all the, like, dribbling stats to get round a player easily anyway. The right-back we're going to go for is going to be a Brazilian right-back in the Premier League. And he's going to be none other than Rafael. I haven't used this card before. And he's just ideal to have in this situation because we're going to have a Premier League um, right mid in Ben Arthur. I could have had Man of the Match Nasri here, but... I didn't have enough coins, so I decided to go with Nazri and Cam instead. I could have had David Silver in Cam, because then he obviously would have got some better Spanish things. I don't know what that would have done to Matweedy. I think he... No, he probably still would have been okay. So he could have had David Silver and then Man of the Match Nazri before he said in the comments. But I couldn't actually afford it. And we've used Man of the Match Nazri before anyway. So, you know, you can go back and check that one out if you wanted to see that. But that is a team in all its glory. It looks pretty solid in my likings. Um... The left hand side is a little bit out of the way. There's a lot of dead links coming from David Vera, especially. He is still getting full chemistry, though. I can show you there 10 chemistry. Because he is getting a perfect link, like I said, with Diego Costa. That is the strongest link you can get. Same team, same country, same league. Everything pointing in the right direction there. So that is a team in all its glory. We're going to go into a game now. Hopefully, we've got enough strike power and defensive ability to smash whoever we come off against. So I'll see you in two. Okay, guys. It's like we have found ourselves an opponent. He seems to have a. Well, a pretty good team set up. He probably has a couple of punked out position bitches or silvers or something along those lines. What does he have? Fuck! He has, of course, a sweaty Bundesliga team with Draxler, who is my main friend in that team, won't lie to you. He's got Bang Yang, he's got Lewandowski, Elia, Blasikowski, Gundogan. But Julian Draxler is the main man in that team. He is so good on this game. Fuck! Let's go into it. Just hope for anything. Maybe a goal would be nice. Costa, though, is already causing problems. Diego Costa, with his new Spanish approach, he can shoot from here. 
He won't score though. It's gone sailing over the bar. Why are you doing sat on the floor, you bitch? Get up. Oh my! It's got to be a goal. Can Aguero? What the fuck? He saved it. Unbelievable save. This is a counter. This is good. He's going to go up and score. He's going to run up the other end and score. Watch this shit. Done well. Right, come on. Nice. Nice. Right, come on, Aguero, please. Can Aguero make it 1 0? Yes, there we go. Four minutes in. Sergio Aguero finally puts us in the lead. I say fine, it's only four minutes in. But I mean, we've missed a glorious opportunity already. We've had a bloody goalkeeper make a worldy save and we've scored inside five minutes. That is absolutely ideal, hopefully. Oh, we've done our target. We've scored. Game on. This thing is atrocious. Oh, he's over the top to Lewandowski. Great defending from Hordy Alba, my main man. Shit. Couldn't do one. He's got a crack on him, that's for sure. He's going to run it in a little bit. Oh, what a tackle, Marquinhos. But oh, no, Julian Draxler. Good save, yes. Crikey, Moses. It's all happening here. It's action-packed first half. We will not concede before half time. I refuse. Ben Arthur. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, please. Don't you fucking pull up, referee. Diego Costa. Diego Costa. Opens up a gap. Costa strikes one. Goal. Thank you very much. 2-0. Counter-attack OP. 45th minute aids. All in one. Diego Costa, Spanish, gets his first goal. Thank you very much. 2-0 just before half time. If it's not a goal, it's a fucking red card and a free kick because he crunches me. 2-0, baby. Just don't concede. Fuck. Oh shit, Diego Costa. Oh please. It's Aguero. He think one. It's David Villa! Unbelievably, we scored two in the 45th minute. And that's got eight written all over it. You might feel as if that was a little bit of a sweaty goal. But Aguero was going nowhere with the ball. He got he got completely bitch slapped by the defender and actually didn't realise the defender actually walked away from me a little bit just before I pummeled it in. It's 3-0 just before halftime. Ideal. Is there time for any more? No, that's halftime. 3-0. We've unbelievably done well in that first half. Let's see when the goals were scored, actually, because that's crazy. As you can see, we've had a lot of, we've had a lot of shots. We probably should be one or two more up, actually. But I'll take 3-0 going into the second half. This guy's got a very strong team, though. So I wouldn't be surprised if he came back in and got one or two goals himself. Anyway, switch the play. That is sensational. So is that. Get on that. Get on that. It's Sergio Aguero. He's definitely got the pace. Aguero. Oh, my. Wow. You press B, you expect better, don't you? Fuck. Oh, my Christ. Ben Arthur. It's Nasri. It's somehow wormed its way through. It's Sergio Aguero. It's over. It's Costa. That's a cracking finish. My bloody controller vibrated. He must have hit the post or something. But he's offside, obviously. I knew that. But freaking nice finish from the main man. Still 3-0. 63 on the clock. Oh, my Christ. Nasri. We're going to wait for the run of David Villa. We're going to wait and wait. we found him. We're not going to cross it. We're not that sweaty. We're going to advance Rainbow. Let's see what happens. Back. Uh oh Good save. Get it away. Yes. Give. Bosh. Fucking beautiful. Here goes Samia. Samia now. Three keepers coming. He's going to have a finesse around him. Hits the fucking bar. Christ's sake. What is life? The Tweedy's there again, lads. For some reason, Ben Arthur has jumped over that one like a fucking pansy. Get out of the way. Really, Marquinhos? Really? Thank Christ for Raphael. That's all I'm saying. Jordi Alba's tit slapping my bitches. Give and go. It's what we do. Over the top. Fantastic. Sergio Aguero. First time smash. Goalkeeper has saved it. We might keep this in, actually. We're going to keep this in. We're skilling for days. We're Ronaldo chopping for days. We're ball rolling. It's Sammy and Nasri, I do believe. I'm not really sure, but can Aguero fuck off? Has he saved that again? That goalkeeper just pulled that out yet again. Goalkeeper's OP. It's Renny Adler. Great ball. Aguero. Doing the skills to finish it off. 
It's Sergio Aguero just walking through. Sergio Aguero! Fuck off, Gundogan. And that is full time. Didn't actually manage to score in the second half. Had a lot of chances. Rene Adler was outstanding this game for him. Unbelievable saves he pulled off. Two absolute worldies. But then again, we've won the game 3-0. So I don't really mind that much. Just affects my goal scoring tally, which is a little bit annoying. The goal scorers, Villa, Costa, Aguero. The three you probably would expect to score the goals. Maybe Nasri picking up one would have been nice, but he didn't. Wasn't to be, but that was a very solid performance from my team. I did enjoy playing with that team. It was actually pretty enjoyable. That, in particular, was an absolute worldie of a save right there. Unbelievable from Rene Adler. Our goalkeeper got mile of the match unbelievably. Rene Adler made how many saves? 12. How many goalkeepers? Our goalkeeper made 8 and got mile of the match. That's a little bit strange, isn't it? But we'll take the win. 3-0, like I said. The the, the um, stats show the show for itself. But he could have scored one or two. He did have a few chances. He wasted one or two really good chances, actually. Lewandowski, in particular, wasn't happening for him. Put it over the bar. But we've overcome the Bundesliga sweat. And we've picked up a 3-0 win. Hopefully, you have enjoyed the video. If you have a like, it would be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you're new. Have a nice day. See you again soon. And bye-bye. Boom.